everyone. I'm Katie Leung. I'm the Associate Professor of Singapore General Hospital and Duke NUS Medical School. Today, I'm illustrating to you how to perform the musculoskeletal activity for psoriatic arthritis. And today, we have Mr. Zheng as our patient model. Just take a look at the physical exam for the musculoskeletal activity for psoriatic arthritis. We are using the uh, peripheral joint assessment inclusive of 66 and 68 tendon and swollen joint count. We are doing the anthesitis through the SPA Research Consortium of Canada in short SPA. We are doing the simple ductilitis count. I'm not going to include spine because it's patient reported outcome. Okay, let's begin with the physical exam. So first of all, we inspect the hands. We take a closer look. So we are inspecting to see whether there is symmetry. And at the same time, we are also looking at the nails. If there is any asymmetry and you suspect that is dactylitis, we will also ask Mrs. Jung if there is any pain on your hand. No. In that case, there is no dactylitis. I will begin with the palpation. We we'll palpate the wrist for tenderness and effusion. If there is pain, no. let me know. Okay. So we go to the metacarpal phalangeal joints. So you squeeze the fluid to one side and appreciate the fluctuance on the other side. We do it similarly for all the other joints. For the our uh, interphalangeal joint, we use four finger technique. Basically, you firm pressure on up down and appreciate the fluctuations on sideways. On your sideways firms, try to appreciate the fluctuations up down. We do it similarly for every joint. We also do not miss out the distal interphalangeal joints. In this case, there's no tenderness. We would go through them and we do it similarly on the other side. Any pain? No. Now we come to the elbow. This is how you locate the elbow, epicondyl, olecranoid, and hadal radius. Hadal radius is something that moves underneath your thumb when you supinate and pronate the uh, elbow. This is the three point in between is your elbow and also where the dimple is coming from. Any pain over that? No. And then you move it around. At the same time, we also examine the antithesis on the epicondyl, lateral and medial epicondyl. Any pain? No. And then we do it similarly on the other elbow. Elbow, epicondyl, and medial epicondyl. Now we go to the shoulder. This is the acromion and glenoid. We also take the opportunity to examine the antheseal of the supinatus attachment to the greater trochanter. And now we go to the sternoclavicular joint. We palpate for tenderness and effusion. And lastly, then, is the a TM joint. Can you say ah? Ah. Any pain? No. Now we come to the knee. So identify your knee through the superior patellar borders and inferior patellar borders. And right underneath is your knee. So squeeze the fluid. If there is effusion, you will feel the fluid going to the other arm. And then we also take the opportunity to uh, prepare for antheciders over the patella, suprapatella, and infrapatella tendon. The other side similarly, prepare for effusion and tenderness, patella tendons. Now we come to the ankle. You look at the contour of the ankle and also symmetry of the toes. We start with the lateral malleolus. Feel the joint line, go to the medial malleolus. If you can clearly feel the joint line, it usually indicates there's no effusion. You dorsiflex and plantarflex the ankle joint, and right underneath is the subtalar joint. You also take the opportunity to have a look at the Achilles insertion, as well as palpate for the plantar fasciitis. This is the navicular joint, this is how you examine it. And similarly, for the metatarsal joints, you palpate for effusion and tenderness and the interphalangeal joints as well of the toes using the four finger technique. 
We do it similarly for the other side, lateral malleolus, joint light and medial malleolus, dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, subtalar joint, Achilles tendon, plantar fasciitis, navicular joint. You can examine the metatarsal joints in this manner and ask if there is any tenderness. Okay, that finishes. If it is a couch, I can lie the patient down and examine the tenderness of the hip. So lastly, we will document the results. On this piece of paper, I will usually use a dot for tender or swollen joint. I will use a stroke to indicate if there is dactylitis. I will use an arrow to indicate if there is any enthesitis. Thank you very much for your attention. This is how you do the physical examination of psoriatic arthritis. I'm Katie Long the Associate Professor of Singapore General Hospital and Duke NUS Medical School.